Hello and welcome back to Medium Rare everyone. My name is Rag Reynolds and today we are talking about Susie Lou. Yes, now Susie Lou is someone that I spoke about months and months ago. I spoke about her months and months back about abusing the copyright system here on YouTube and about also violating that copyright system herself. And today what I want to talk about is much the same thing as I had touched on in my previous video or two where I had spoken about her already. You see, this problem with Susie Lou has only continued to grow and get worse and worse. Now, if you're not aware of what's going on here, Susie Lou is a Scottish YouTuber who has over 300,000 subscribers and her content is mainly reaction content. Now, reaction content is not inherently terrible content. It's not inherently bad or against fair use or violating copyright or anything of the sort. However, Susie Lou's specific brand, specific style of reaction videos most certainly violate fair use. They most certainly violate copyright. On her channel, Susie Lou posts videos that are often as long as 18, 19, 20 minutes long, wherein she sits and watches an entire episode of anime with minimal cuts and also minimal reactions on her part. In a video recently posted by John Swan, he did a calculation that in an average Susie Lou video, 81% of the content in said video is not Susie Lou's. And over on her Patreon, Susie Lou actually goes even further with this and posts unedited reaction videos with no cuts at all. Videos that are maybe 25 minutes long showing the entire anime. And again, her reactions in these videos are minimal. This is not commentary, this is not critique, this is not transformative. Susie Lou literally sits in front of the camera watching an episode of anime, something happens and she goes, oh that's so cute, oh that's horrible, oh my god, that's happening. That is literally all her reactions are. And there aren't that many of them actually in the videos either. Most of her content is literally her sitting like you can see on the screen right now, just with the anime playing and her sitting there, doing nothing. Now, Susie Lou has had some issues with copyright here on YouTube, and because of that, she actually had her channel terminated for a very short period of time at Christmas. This was because a Japanese company that owns the rights to the anime Naruto decided to file DMCA takedowns against Susie Lou's reaction videos of the anime Naruto. Now, it was quite clear to anyone with a functioning brain that these claims were legit, these claims were valid, and that Susie Lou's content definitely deserved to be striked down. And because she got three strikes, that meant her channel was actually terminated. Now, for some strange reason, her channel then went back up. And she gave an explanation to this in a video she made, where she said that she spoke to YouTube about this. And YouTube said, and in a video she made explaining her side of all this, she said she spoke to her partner manager at YouTube. And they agreed with her that her videos were not violating fair use. And they removed the strikes and put her channel back up. Now that, people, is insanity. And it's not just insanity because someone would actually do that for Susie Lou, because someone would actually be so brain dead as to think that was actually the case. The reason it's insanity is because YouTube, or someone working at YouTube, has actually gone out of their way to break the law for Susie Lou. You see, YouTube have policies in place where they are not allowed to directly get involved with copyright disputes. The only person that can actually decide on a copyright dispute is a judge. YouTube have policies in place that make it very clear that they will never take sides in any of these copyright disputes. So for YouTube to actually remove these strikes from Susie Lou's channel and straight up just disregard this copyright owner's claims here is absolute insanity. It's something that just doesn't normally happen. It starts to paint a picture that someone is maybe being manipulated by Susie Lou. Someone is maybe got a little crush on Susie Lou. I don't know what's going on here. 
but there's something nefarious going on behind the scenes because there is no way that this should just be happening and accepted. This is not normal, this is not right. It's also worth maybe pointing out that it does appear Susie Lou does have contacts maybe a little high up at YouTube as she was heavily involved in a previous YouTube Rewind. But hey folks, we're actually not at the worst part of this yet. Because sure, yeah, Susie Lou's violating copyright all the rest of it. She's actually moved on now. She's got her own website. You can go to Susie Lou's website and she actually posts full videos, what her reacting to anime on her website rather than YouTube because she thinks that that will help uh, stop the copyright claim. She thinks she'll be a little safer over there on her website. When in reality, all that's going to happen there is she's going to end up getting sued. But yeah, Susie Lou actually gets worse from here because her violating copyright, I wouldn't really say it impacts the community that much. Sure, she's impacting these companies that own the copyright to whatever it is she's reacting to, whatever. That's their problem. That's between her, that's between them. But the big issue with Susie Lou is that she is blatantly abusing the copyright system and also the community guideline system here on YouTube. Countless videos criticizing Susie Lou, making fun of Susie Lou, anything to do with Susie Lou have been struck down by Susie Lou. Creators such as Mark After Dark, John Swan, Tipster, many, many people have all had their videos either flagged as harassment and cyberbullying by Susie Lou anytime they've tried to critique her, or they have had their videos about Susie Lou hit with copyright strikes. And that's what happened to Mark After Dark. And this is why this is a very important story to talk about. It's very important to put a lot of attention and focus on what is going on here. It happens over and over again. Blatant abuse of these systems by various creators on this platform. I've spoken at length in previous videos about Onision, about Real Stream News, two people who have repeatedly filed false copyright strikes against other creators. And there are many others out there. Suzy Lou is just one more name to add on to this very long list of names that abuse these systems that are in place. This is something that bugs me so much. Suzy Lou and all these other people are using these YouTube systems, they are abusing these systems, taking advantage of them to shut down critique of them. It is nothing about protecting their intellectual property as the copyright system should be used for. It is about shutting down critique. And in the case of Susie Lu, she's also abusing the community guideline system. She's abusing the fact that she can flag videos for bullying and harassment and somehow Someone at YouTube is actually sitting here and thinking, yeah, that definitely vi violates bullying and harassment. Meanwhile, w one example of this is the YouTuber Tipster. He sat down with an actual copyright lawyer. He sat down with a guy to have a conversation about Susie Lou and about how, how or if or if not, her videos were violating copyright. That is literally all the video was. And that video was taken down for harassment and cyberbullying. So it's quite clear here that this isn't someone who is sitting there and thinking, yeah, this is this is genuinely harassment and cyberbullying. No one in their right mind would think that. No one in their right mind. So it's quite clear to me, it's quite clear to many other people that Susie Lou has some hold over someone. She's pulling some strings somewhere. Someone's pulling some strings for her. She's somehow managing to fast track these flags that she's putting through. She's fast tracking all these complaints, having these critiques of her shut down. And it's infuriating to watch. It's atrocious. Her actions here are reprehensible. Susie Lou's actions are indefensible. And it's all just so funny because she is such a massive hypocrite. She's out here falsely copyright striking XYZ videos, flagging them for harassment and cyberbullying just because they maybe used 
five seconds of her face or they've used a little bit of something and she says, oh, that doesn't constitute fair use. Meanwhile, she's actually sitting there watching 20 minutes of an anime, which 81% of the content isn't even hers. She's not speaking for 81% of the video. And somehow that does constitute fair use. Somehow that's not in violation of copyright. This really, really bugs me. And I really do think we need a reform on this copyright system here on YouTube. We need a reform on how copyright strikes, copyright claims, how those both work. We also need a reform on how flagging videos works and how flagging something for say bullying and harassment is actually done. I don't know what the answer is here, I don't know what the specific solution is, but I'm 100% sure that something does need to be done. Someone smarter than me needs to come up with a solution because this is a problem. YouTuber after YouTuber, as I keep saying, are abusing this system. It is so, so easy to abuse. Whether that be to steal revenue from someone's video just because they used 10 seconds of your face, of one of your videos, or whether you want to actually shut down criticism of someone by removing their video from the platform entirely. It is such an easy system to abuse. And I urge you all, go check out John Swan's channel. He done a fantastic video going over all of this Susie Lou stuff. His video was actually taken down, but then he re-uploaded it with a little bit censored out of it. He also links in his description to a full-length version of that video. I will link to his video in the description down below. Anyway, I've had enough of a rant for today. So, as always, make sure to leave a like on the video. Leave a comment with your thoughts down below. Make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already. Check out my links as well in the description down below. And until next time, everyone... My name is Rag Reynolds, and this was Medium Rare.